Thanks, the Massachusetts Gaming Commission reviewing an official application for retail sports betting kiosks at MGM Springfield. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli closely monitored that meeting today, and he joins us now live in Springfield with the details. Matt. Chris, MGM President Chris Kelly called today's formal application review, which lasted nearly five hours, a milestone moment. But it'll be a little longer before a vote is held and an official decision is made. We spent several million dollars to create one of the most compelling sports viewing experiences in the fleet. On Wednesday morning, officials at MGM Springfield met with the Massachusetts Gaming Commission for an application review of its Category 1 sports wagering license for an in-person retail sports book. After a sports betting bill was passed by Governor Charlie Baker on August 10th, 15 sports wagering platforms submitted an official application, including three vying for a Category 1 license. They include Plain Ridge Park Casino, Encore Boston Harbor, and MGM Springfield. We spent about $4 million in total in capital on both our sports lounge and our VIP viewing experience in the back of TAP. State Senator Eric Lesser, who led the charge to legalize sports gambling in the Bay State, speaking with Western Mass News about the impact that a retail license approval could have. It's going to be a big moment for the state. It's going to be an entirely new sector, entirely new industry. It's going to mean tens of millions of dollars in new tax revenue for the state. Kelly adds the retail license would add seven new full-time and six new part-time positions at the casino. We are one of the largest employers in the city of Springfield. We are one of the largest taxpayers in the city of Springfield. A formal vote was originally on Wednesday's agenda. However, as a potential Category 1 operator, MGM Springfield would have the ability to partner with up to two digital platforms. MGM has already indicated that they intend to use one online platform, BetMGM, which was established in July 2018. It is a service provider for all of our retail operations in both Las Vegas and regionally. And during Wednesday's meeting, gaming commissioners say it's not possible to conduct a complete review of the application without examining the online platform first. In terms of um, a full evaluation and um, deliberation on the application, I'm just not prepared to do that uh, today without having the benefit of the review of the BetMGM application. Plain Ridge Park Casino's formal application, which was reviewed yesterday, resulted in a similar outcome because of the online platform. A formal review date has not been set for the BetMGM platform, although in today's meeting, the Gaming Commission officials said it will likely take place sometime next week. We'll keep you posted as soon as that information comes into our newsroom. Reporting live in Springfield, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.